we're excited about um, what we're doing with Intermountain Healthcare in part because they want to simply brand themselves and tell their story of how they use technology to improve patient um, outcomes at their hospitals. And what better way to show that you are a technology leader than using a really you know, high-end, forward-thinking technology like virtual reality and augmented reality to tell that story. We like being innovative, and I think we've done a lot around innovation, particularly in healthcare and technology. And this just is a way of kind of exposing that in a grander scale. And it's also just really cool. It gets people's attention. There is a very collaborative process with anyone that we work with. If you're in a business-to-business -business environment, the people who are going to watch the content are very knowledgeable about the industry that you're in. So it requires you to be experts and to know the language, know what you're trying to communicate, because if it's not authentic, it will come off to you a specialized audience. Oh, that was amazing. Very surreal experience, very different, very cool. It was, uh, it was awesome. If this is what we had to look forward to, then I think we're in good shape. We're making videos that are immersive, so that when you look around, especially in the dome, you can see everything without that small headset on. You want to be able to make sure that everything is visually stimulating around you. You don't want necessarily any dead space. So when it comes to creating a 360 video, developing creative, we want the most impactful, the most immersive experiences possible. And so it's our job as the production team to make sure that all of those challenges can be met. All of those requirements can be met as well. Creating something that is visually stunning all around you. And if it doesn't work, not forcing it. I thought the content was awesome. This is another way of um, delivering a story to people, and I think it's one that really worked for me. Full 360 3D experience makes you feel like you're right there with the people in the video. Amazing. We're dealing with a small crew, dealing with small equipment so that we can kind of have the smallest footprint possible. And I think that the clients that we've worked with have really appreciated that in that we're able to move fast, we're able to get things done and kind of be low impact because we don't want to be a drain on their resources. Something that we've seen most recently with this project is you know, we were able to get in and get out and not disrupt real world experiences like life flight helicopters and things like that. Well, my immediate reaction is anything that's kind of new is exciting and you're not used to seeing you know, the imagery all around. I think it kind of heightens your senses a little bit because you're seeing something that makes you concentrate just a little more. It's not something you see every day. I thought that was that was what was really powerful. Here we have angular projection where uh, the video is being projected almost to the wall that's just adjacent to the projector um, and it goes all the way around the bottom. So there's eight projectors that go on the walls and then there's one projector in the front that reaches up to the top and covers uh, usually the zenith of the uh, of the dome. So all that uh, ties together with a server that uh, allows us to blend it all and make it look nice and pretty. Um, and we can adjust all sorts of different things, like we can tilt it, we can you know, fade the bottom, we can change the color, we can change the geometry. Um, the dome specifically, I think, is great for something like a trade show. It's a huge um, kind of eye-opening piece, just visually stunning, that you can see it, you're drawn towards it. Having the right people obviously helps as well. Uh, we pride ourselves on being great with marketing activations and things like that, really getting people in, um, pulling them out of their comfort zone if they don't necessarily want to participate, um, and ultimately they feel rewarded for it. So I think that you know, in an environment wherein you have the space and you have a lot of people, putting up a structure that's you know 23 feet wide and 13 feet tall it's going to draw a lot of attention. This is the only 360 dome that we are aware of that we've created that's built for this type of VR 360 video consumption and honestly everyone that we've seen come in here has been really uh, amazed by what this new I like to refer to as a new canvas essentially for our media content to be put onto um, and it's, uh, we've already had discussions about all sorts of new AR and VR experiences that we can leverage inside the dome. Because you don't have to be sitting during it, it changes the way that people can walk around, we can have iPads or you know, other interactive experiences that will change the content on the dome, um, you know, just like that. It, it's terrific and I think it's, it's way more effective because it catches people's imagination and it's different. You feel like you're there, whether you're talking telehealth and you're laying in the bed looking at the doctor, I mean, you can kind of sense what that interaction might be like. So it, it makes it real. So what we've done is created um, a series of you know, augmented reality experiences that allow someone to kind of experience different components of the story that Intermountain is trying to tell. And so as you hold the picture up, you can basically now see a video be launched here. 
that's explaining a little bit about that product. Um, it's taking kind of your, what you would traditionally call a very static uh, pop-up banner and really kind of uh, bring that banner to life in a way that um, these banners don't normally exist uh, for. And so it's a great way to create another kind of augmented reality experience uh, and, and have that in conjunction with uh, the 360 videos that you can see in the dome. A formal dinner is a part of this event. People are gonna be sitting at the table. So we put coasters, created these coasters. And they have the Intermount Life Flight logo. Uh, and we've used these as a marker. So this is an example of, you know, in the other air experience, they were pictures. Um, this is definitely more of just a logo. And they simply use this as the marker. What we've done is basically created, uh, we're augmenting the reality of this space. What you first had was just a coaster. Um, but that coaster is now launching an experience where we've created a life flight helicopter and you can hear the blades spinning, you can get it up in the air, and then you can basically fly this helicopter around. And the whole point of this game is to basically pick up these people. This allows people to create essentially a better interaction with the people that they're, they're looking to bring to the market, bring into for uh, investment, things like that. It allows them to open their industry to um, people through a brand new experience. Allow them to actually uh, interact with it in a way that they've never thought about before. There's endless possibilities for what we could produce. And as we've seen with working in something like healthcare, there's a lot of different facets of that that can be visually appealing and stunning and things that people normally don't get a chance to experience. So if it's a safari, if it's a sports event, if it's you know something like a logistics and supply facility, you don't necessarily think that those are at the same level, but you know, with the right post-production, with the right creative, with the right you know experience, especially in the dome, I think that it all can work.